Everyone has a lot of questions concerning the coronavirus, and our Dr. Frank Georgie is working diligently to check the answers to those questions. Tonight he's addressing two of the questions that are being asked most often, and the first one concerns the risk for our pets, Doc. Yeah, Karen and Jason, this one's interesting. Based on a, on a study of the genetics, the current epidemic of COVID-19, which is caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus, is thought to have come from bats, which of course are small flying mammals. So many people are logically concerned about the four-legged friends in their lives. The question being asked by people from Dearborn to Troy and several other cities is, can the coronavirus spread to cats or dogs? While we don't have complete studies on this, the short answer is no, because it's a different type of coronavirus than we usually find in cats and dogs. A few little facts. Coronaviruses come in an alpha and beta form. The alpha form is what usually infects our pets. The COVID-19 virus is a beta coronavirus from bats that pets can't catch. Now, you may have heard that a dog in Hong Kong owned by a coronavirus patient tested a weak positive for the virus. That dog is being studied and hasn't shown any symptoms or indication that it is infected. In fact, the current explanation for the test result is that the dog may have been contaminated by their owner's positive secretions and wasn't actually infected. Now, another question from Ann Arbor and Troy is, are you immune after you've been infected? The answer is yes. Once our immune system fights off a virus, it generally confers immunity to that specific virus. What isn't known is how long that immunity will last. Some viruses don't stimulate a robust enough response for long-term immunity. You might only be protected for a short time. We also don't know if immunity would be highly specific or broad enough to protect a person if the virus underwent a slight mutation. Both of those issues need more research, especially as a vaccine is being developed. Now, one final thing. There was a letter published on February 27th in JAMA suggesting a virus carrier state in four patients after they recovered. Now, this is very preliminary and isolated, but it does require follow-up. Now, if you have any questions you want me to dig into, submit it on the health page. You click on Detroit.com 